So we have a little surprise to show you guys. Leia had a litter of puppies. These guys are now just a little over a week old. They're getting big. They're Leia and Boss's puppies. She originally had five, but one was a little deformed and didn't make it. So we've got a total of four, one male and three females. And um, I've got some buddies that are pretty excited about this litter. And so uh, we'll be happy to let them uh, take a puppy, see what they turn out like. I've got good parents. Uh, Leia is roughly half Whippet, half Patterdale, with a little bit of Pitbull mixed in. Their father, Boss, is one quarter Pitbull, three eighths Whippet, three eighths Greyhound. So these pups, they've got uh, quite a bit of Sighthound in them, a little bit of Terrier in them, and a little bit of bull, Bulldog in them. So it uh, should be an interesting mix. As far as their abilities, Leia has a, a decent nose. Uh, she's good at br pushing brush and obviously squeezing down holes to go underground. Uh, Boss is very quick and athletic, and he will push brush and go underground if he's motivated to do so, but it's not very natural to him. He will sometimes use his nose and locate, but it's not as natural to him either. So it'll be interesting to see uh, what the pups turn out like. Both parents, especially Boss, have reasonably thick skin, which is nice because sighthounds have really thin, delicate skin, so they get injured quite easily. So that terrier and that bulldog blood has really helped to thicken up this both parents' skin. So these pups should have reasonably thick skin. Should be pretty quick and athletic. Um, they've got a chance at having a nose. They should be willing to go underground pretty, pretty easily, I would expect. They should have really good prey drive. So it'll be interesting to see what they turn out like. I would guess size-wise, um, probably around 45 to 35 pounds is my guess. Uh, the father is quite a bit larger. He's about 70 pounds is the size of Boss. And Leia is obviously quite a bit smaller. She's 20 pounds. So I was originally a little concerned about making the cross because Leia is so much smaller than Boss is. Um, but I did a little research. At, you know, it's a common saying that you shouldn't breed a much larger male to a, lar to a much smaller female because the pups would be you know too big for her to handle and that logically makes sense however when i started talking to people who've actually had experience with a cross like that i couldn't find a single person who'd ever experienced difficulties with a uh, large male breeding a small female and one extreme example i had a friend who's full-size draw har if, if you know what a wire hair pointer is it's similar to that um, so he had a full-size draught har breed a tiny little yog terrier. So just as big of a size difference as there is between Boss and Leia, if not more. And um, they were able to have a full litter of eight puppies without any complications whatsoever, and she was able to raise all eight puppies. So once I, did, I, I researched into it, started talking to people who'd actually have experience with with crosses like this, I found that there wasn't any problem. I couldn't find anyone actually to back up the claim that that uh, breeding a large male to a small female causes additional complications. And in the case of my buddy's litter, eight puppies, that's a big litter regardless of the size of the parents. So that for the most part resolved my concern with the cross. She gave birth just as easy as, as uh, you could ever hope. And if you look at these fat, chunky puppies, they're healthy and strong. So in her case as well, it didn't cause any complications at all. So happy to say we got a nice, happy, healthy little litter here. And uh, we're excited to see what kind of puppies these grow into, how quick and athletic they are, how good they are at ratting and catching other prey items. But uh, I think they're going to be pretty decent little litter, seeing as both parents are, are pretty darn good themselves. So I don't plan on keeping a puppy myself, as small as the litter is with only four pups. I've got a lot of friends who are interested in getting one, so I'm not going to keep one myself. I know you might be um, questioning that. At least that's not the plan, anyway, I should say. <laughs> this little girl might have other ideas, but the plan is not to keep any of the puppies. Uh, like I said, if there's more than enough people anxious to get one, that, that I don't need to keep one myself. So. Yeah, they're cute little pups, and Olive is having a lot of fun with these puppies. Do you like the puppies, Olive? Yeah, he's kissing me. Is he giving you kisses? Yeah. Oh. Do you like to Do you like to play with the puppies? Yeah, he's giving a kiss a little basil. Oh, he's giving you a little basil. Yeah. Oh, he's so cute, the puppies. Yeah, Olive is absolutely loving having puppies. She and Ellie just play with these things all day long, and. 
we're always she's always asking hey can I play with the puppies can I play with the puppies and we actually use the puppies as uh, motivation to get her to do things she doesn't want to do like eat her dinner or or whatever Olive if you eat your dinner you can play with the puppies okay and she eats her dinner really quick so uh, the puppies have been quite fun for Olive huh yeah yeah you like the puppies huh alrighty so let's show you guys the other babies that we have the I gotta say it's it's nice holding I'll a baby animal that's not gonna bite your earlobes <laughs> when they get close. I keep thinking every time I hold these these little puppies, I keep thinking when they get close to my face and my ears, I keep thinking, oh my goodness, it's gonna bite my ear. And I'm like, oh wait, no, these are puppies. They're not mink. <laughs> They're not mink. <laughs> yeah, that's a big difference between other babies and mink. Baby mink will bite you at a really young age. He's a little little they draw blood like oh yeah basically baby mink grow teeth a good week or two before their eyes open so a week or two before their eyes open roughly at this stage of development baby mink have a mouthful of teeth and they will latch on to you um, not always necessarily trying to hurt you but it hurts regardless whether they're being playful or or not <laughs> and so yeah it yeah, is. I sure don't miss that with these guys. <laughs> <laughs> that is what I see about puppies, huh? Daddy, pee eyes are grabbing my... Oh, that one's done. He's all done? Oh, should I hold this one? Come here. The little boy one's pretty loud. He's always making noise. The, the, the boy, the boy... How come you make so much noise, huh? You said a loud one. <laughs> but yeah, I... I uh, Olive, she's used to raising baby mink, and she keeps asking when we're going to feed him meat. Can we feed them meat yet, Dad? Can we feed them meat yet? Well, they're not old enough to eat meat yet. If these were baby mink, they'd already be eating meat along with their milk. But obviously puppies, they're still a few weeks away from eating any meat. But, uh, what, you gonna suck my fingers? Hey. Huh? Daddy, look at These geese. Baby, baby puppy, girl, the girl, the girl, girl, you like me. She likes you? Oh. Yeah, these little pups are sure getting socialized, I'll tell you what. Whoever gets them are going to get some very, very socialized puppies because Olive and Ellie play with these things constantly. We have to tell them, puppies. okay, puppies are done, puppies. give them a break. <laughs> so these pups will be very socialized little little guys, that's for sure. What, sweetheart? Okay. Oh, you like the puppies. So cute. Should we go show them what other babies we have? What other babies do we have? We have baby mink and baby puppies. Yeah, we have baby mink and baby puppies. Should we go show them? Baby Mink? Yeah. yeah, let's go show them the baby Mink. I just like my baby puppy. Oh, little puppy. No, it's okay. This one's our baby Mink. Oh, baby Mink. Uh, I'm silly. <laughs> I like my baby Mink, Mommy. Me too. I like my animals, Mommy. So in addition to having baby puppies, we also have baby Mink. And these little guys right here, they were born yesterday. So they're roughly 24 hours old. These little guys are our oldest litter. They are nine days old. So these guys are eight days older, so just a hair over a week older than the litter we just showed you. And you can see the size difference. Let me take one of these little guys. Look at the size difference. Look how fast they grow in just a week, a week and a day. They've got quite a bit more fur. They've got quite a bit more fat. Um, these little guys, you can't really tell very well if they have a chin spot coming or not. And these guys, if they have one coming, it's pretty clear. This guy's gonna have, looks like a little fang mark. So you can see how much these guys grow in just a week. And uh, they're considerably larger and quite a bit more developed after just a week of growth. So this oldest litter is the Savage Saber litter. Um, Saber being the dad, Savage the mom, obviously. And they are the second most highly anticipated litter that I have. Um, I was pretty excited when these guys were born first because I was really anxious to see what they would produce. Um, the litter I'm most excited about is the Rio uh, Houdini litter. And that one has not been born yet. So we have yet to see what will come out of that breeding. You know, the thing with mink, you just never know. So I'm anxiously waiting to see if that litter's born. But happy to see that this litter is growing fast and doing so well. So we better go get these little guys back with their mamas. Are they squealing? Should we go take them back to their mamas? 
Okay, let's go take them back to their mommy. Do you want to hold these big ones and I'll go take the little ones back? Yeah. I'll go take the little ones back and you hold the big ones, okay? Yeah, look Be very gentle. Okay, I'm gonna go put these little guys back to their mama. Let Olive play with these ones for a minute before we put them away. <laughs> so this litter is the CC um, Butcher Boy litter. So Butcher Boy and CC CC is the uh, daughter of Brock and Rio, and you guys know who Butcher Boy is. So that's their litter. I'm gonna go put these little guys back with their mama, and then uh, we'll take these guys back next. I love so much, baby mink. <sighs> Okay. Where are you going, little one? He's so happy, mommy. Mm -hmm. Just taking a nap. Yeah, just taking a nap. Shh, be quiet, mommy, okay? Little one. Look at his feet. I have cross, mommy. Mm -hmm. He has cross. We're going to have cross. The big one is going to eat the meat. The, the big one is going to eat the meat. Mm -hmm. But little one, uh, the um, little one, little one, mink, is too little. He can eat. But that one's going to eat. So. Mm -hmm. So one thing we're going to be doing with these little guys is we're doing a day-by-day -day video. So it'll take us about a month before we're done filming it, um, let alone editing it. Um, and what we're doing is we're taking short clips every day of the development of the baby mink. From the day they're born until they're 30 days old or something like that, we'll find kind of a, a good point to stop. And then we'll post that video, then we'll probably do a second one just showing their little stages of development.